It seems unfeasible that a sliding tile puzzle game featuring a cute little blob named Squishy has an anti-corporate bent to it, but the evidence seems to be right there on the screen. Oh sure, the story tells you that the evil Dr. Spudget has stolen all the squish berries and it's up to Squishy to take revenge, but you do this by setting skyscrapers aflame, many of which seem to be alive. You monster. Each level gives you so many turns before Squishy moves. You need to flick tiles with arrows into place so that when the blob decides to get going, you lead him straight to the buildings and watch as the blatant arson occurs. If Squishy hits a blank tile, or if there are more buildings left, the turn counter resets until every urban landmark has been felled. As the game progresses, warp holes and other additions are thrown into the mix, but the core concept remains the same. This game is more of a demo, however. It's a free download, and you get the first world available. But just as the game clicks, the paywall comes up, asking you to either pay a small fee for the next couple of worlds, or a larger fee to unlock everything. Unlocking everything won't necessarily break your bank, and it's nice to have that element of try before your buy, even though you kind of feel betrayed when you first plow through the free content. Presentation-wise, the graphics are fine, with the story told in comic book form. The music is surprisingly catchy and a great addition to the puzzle solving. Seeing there's no barrier to entry, if you like puzzle games, give Squishy's Revenge a try. Whether it's worth the coin to progress further is a decision you'll make when you come to the end of World 1. The only question, was that enough gameplay to make up your mind? This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.